Alta Labs has finally released their control software application to the public. Now, if you weren't already aware, you could actually enter in the beta to get access to the beta controller, and you could host that on an LXD container instance and play around with that. And well, I don't really know much about it. I was a part of the beta, but I actually never got around to installing it myself. So I don't actually know what the software looks like, but nonetheless, that software is now publicly available to anyone. However, if you do plan on using this software, you do need to pay a one-time license fee of $49. Now, we don't know if this is a lifetime license fee, if they plan on increasing the price in the future, but right now, at the time of filming, it's just a one-time fee. Alongside with this revelation, we've also already known about a hardware, a dedicated hardware controller coming out, but now we have more information about it, specifically that it's gonna cost around $149, and it, at least at the time of filming, it doesn't look like you have to pay an additional license fee to use that. You buy the hardware controller and you also are granted, I guess, permanent access to the controller software. And the device itself has Bluetooth on it, which is cool because that means that you can control, well, control, set up other hardware devices via Bluetooth or their seamless uh, Bluetooth setup. And it controls up to about a thousand devices. That's not something tested, but that is what they have planned to release. And we also know what it looks like now, or we'll have an idea of what it might look like. We don't know if this is the final production image or just you know a stock photo they produced or a mock-up they produced. Obviously there's gonna be some trade-offs between having a dedicated hardware device and using a containerized version of the controller software. First off, well, how many devices can you host on a container version of the controller software? Well, it just depends on how good your hardware is and what you have it running on, right? I mean, that's not something they can tell you because all hardware is different. So that could be something for the home lab use where you can have a potato PC that will control just enough to run your house, which is excellent, I think. All their trade-offs are is if you have like a dedicated device and it fails, you will obviously have to buy a new one. I almost can guarantee you that just because you previously bought a device doesn't mean you get instantaneous access to an additional license to run it on a software version. I think those are gonna be two separate licenses. And if that device fails, you will obviously have to buy a new one to obtain access to um, the new, uh, to obtain access to the control software again, is what I mean to say. Um, but on the plus side, if you do decide to go with like a container, you could do high availability and probably failover. I don't know if failover would exactly require two licenses but with high availability anyway, if the container's on one host, that host goes down, it obviously moves over to the other host and everything still works. And that's a huge upside to the hardware, or a hub, an upside that you won't find on the hardware controller. Now, I'd be really interested to know if they, in the future, they have the hardware controller where you can have run two of them and uh, on your local network. And then the if one fails, the other one will, will automatically enable, like if there'd be any kind of like failover or high availability options there. That's not something that we know about at this time, but definitely I'd be, I would like to know if that's something that is feasible or doable. I would imagine it is, but it's too early to say, so we'll just have to keep our eye on it. As far as their cloud offering goes, there doesn't seem to be any changes there. That still seems to be free, so long as you purchase your hardware through Alta Labs or you purchase Alta Labs hardware, you still gain access to the cloud, which they say has 99.9% .9 uptime and all those other benefits of not it being self-hosted with the only downside being, well, if your internet's down, I guess you can't cloud manage your hardware, right? So that's still free, which is good. Uh, hopefully that doesn't move to a subscription-based model in the future. That's something I think a lot of us fear is like a rug pull. Uh, maybe they do have a subscription model in the future that includes support. That I would kind of understand. For everyone else that feel like they don't need support, it would be cool if that, if that just stays free forever. But again, it's way too early to even know what their plans are or how they plan to make the company more profitable in the future. But it's definitely something we gotta keep in mind because as companies grow and get bigger, they obviously have to find new avenues of revenue. So don't be surprised if one day Alta Labs is like, hey, we're gonna have to start charging you guys a monthly fee or yearly fee for all of the software because that's just the nature of how businesses uh, operate when they grow. So. Anyway, that's all the information that I'm aware of and tracking at this time. There may be more out there, but I just don't know or don't have the insider knowledge of that. But it's cool to see that Alta Labs has listened to us in the community asking for 
an on-premise controller that we can host or run on our location and not always be tied to the cloud. Uh, actually, and that brings me to one more thing that I just thought of. I'm wondering if they're gonna do like something that TP-Link does where you have a cloud instance that can control your controller as well as your equipment, or maybe you have a control, a cloud controller that can control multiple of these hardware devices or containers. That's probably something that's gonna be really cool in the future and something that we may be able to look forward to, but I literally just made that up right now on the spot. So I, it just came to me while I was talking to you guys. Anyway, so I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see what you guys think about these this new pricing that they have and any other information that you may have or know about uh, Alta Labs' controller. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace.